Welcome everybody to this edition of Mind Your Own Business. We're talking again about Norway. And one of the things that um, I discovered there, um, first is Norway is wealthy. And if you take a look at this, the United States has a, a much lower per capita, per person uh, GDP. That's the amount of goods and services uh, produced by the, the country of 51,709 uh, versus almost double in Norway. Um, and so Norway is by its nature, a more wealthy country. So there's more dollars available. Uh, the other is, is the U.S. is uh, frighteningly one of the most um, divided countries when it comes to wealth. And I'll talk about that in a minute. If you take a look here, and I'm just using Google uh, to highlight some of what I found. Uh, here is 2017. That has risen, obviously. Uh, but it is uh, really an interesting country. And so if you look here, why is it so high? Well-educated, productive, and rich in national resources. So uh, a major oil exporter, yet almost every car is electric. Uh, and so the environmental issues that um, divide America, uh, are interesting because uh, they're not really there in Norway. Norway's uh, oil and gas industry is nationalized, and so it's all owned by the government, and they sell most of it. They don't use as much, obviously. And so uh, because of the profit motive is taken out of that, um, and as I said in a prior um, podcast, how... Norwegians treasure their national environment. They live in one of the most beautiful countries on the planet, and they respect that. Um, they have found a way to tie oil and a uh, climate change friendly uh, alternative energy approach together. And so it's fascinating, and I'll cover that in a separate podcast. But Norway is uh, a little bit cheaper when I was there than the U.S. in terms of buying food, lunch, you know, uh, goods and services. Yet at the same time, it uh, when you compare it to America, it doesn't have that income gap. So I did a little research on the income gap, and that is not the purpose of this. But the uh, United States as a developed country is about the worst or is the worst in terms of the gap between the rich and the poor. And there are a lot of reasons for it. Google equates some of it to slavery and racism that may or may not be true, but the social policies in Norway um, really try to level the gap between the CEO and the frontline worker to where you, you will live differently, but you're gonna not live that much differently. And the difference is you know, removed by taxes, frankly, and then reinvested in society. So it is a very different social structure. Uh, and I'm not advocating one versus the other. But as you look at one key element that I want to address today, which is controversy, the U.S. is almost built to have controversy. It's a very market economy. Uh, there is some regulation, but we are the land of haves and have nots. There are some in the middle uh, and that affects all of us. So as you think about your company, which I try to draw all these back, really think through um, the have, have not gap at your organization. And are your employees, is your team incentivized to grow the business? to where as you grow, they grow, and they participate in the wealth creation process and benefit uh, from their good and hard work. So in Norway, 
much less controversy. I talked about that in uh, chapter two, but also probably less opportunity for owners because here, if you hit it big and hit it right, you know, you can really do well personally. Unfortunately, uh, compared to other developed countries at the expense of others. So a lot to think about here, search your conscience, you know, what do you value as a human being, as a leader, and then cement your approach to compensation and sharing of success within your organization. So that's what I have for today. Good luck with this interesting lesson.